Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how to prepare tactile or textured sandpaper finished letters at home. Uh, I have been inspired by Amruta Ram's, um, Rama Subramanyam's videos on YouTube regarding Montessori inspired training materials which she creates for her son. And I have been uh, an ardent reader of her blog as well which is called mamadiaries.com and uh, I'll be I'll also be posting a detailed video of whatever I am going to show, detailed note on whatever I am going to show you today. So let's get started with these letters. Um, uh, I prepared these letters using a hardboard. This you need a hardboard. Then you would need a cutter, a ruler, a pencil to mark. A permanent marker for marking letters, paint brush, some paint, blue and pink. Now I have read in various Montessori uh, training manuals and booklets uh, as well as online that you should prepare the alphabets flashcards in two distinct colors. The vowels should be in a different color and the consonants should be in different colors. So that's what I tried and did. Um, I could find many videos based on the sandpaper letters but uh, cutting off sandpaper was quite a cumbersome task plus you had to write in reverse order on the sandpaper on the, the smoother side of the sandpaper and then you would uh, be able to trace it. If you want there are multiple videos based on, on do it yourself sandpaper letters at home and I would be posting a link of those blogs in my blog itself. So, uh, further going ahead, what we need is some sand. Now, this is, you can see this is a very smooth sand. What we did was we got some sand from the sand pit where we go frequently visit in the park. And we just sieved it through the normal sand sieve. Actually, my son did. And this particular sand is very smooth you can see that there are no big stones or anything in them because you want the sand to stick on the flashcard then you need some glue what i did was i prepared some fevico i took some fevicol out in a bowl and used some water to create this okay now uh, coming on to the creating part what you need to do is you take this cardboard and with the help of pencil you just have to mark a particular size which which you might be interested in like for me um, I created from a large sheet of cardboard I created about 25 flashcards so this is the sheet that I used and I created 25 flashcards from it by marking like this. I'll show you the finished product. I'll show you one pink and one blue card. See, this is how we prepared and then using a cutter after creating the grid, I just cut it off like this. So once the card was ready, I painted five cards for A, E, I, O, U in pink and remaining consonant cards in blue. I created two sets. One was uppercase and one was lowercase. I have created two sets because initially my son is only into phonics. So letter recognition has just come. And to start his reading on a faster note, I have, I have created more letters. First, the letters were created in lowercase. And the introduction for him was done in lowercase. And now he is moving on to uppercase letters. So after you create these cards and paint them, you leave them out to dry for maybe 4-5 hours. Or you can leave them under a fan for 2 hours. They will be ready. Once this is ready, all you have to do is... You just have to write, let me show you, 
This was one card which my son did. So I'll show you on this. Suppose you are going to write V. So you write a V here. Something like this. You can even take printouts in alpha of alphabets from up on uppercase and lowercase and you can stick those printouts here for further use. What I did was to cut down the cost and time. I just create handwritten. I had just handwritten these letters and after writing all you have to do is take some glue and put generous amount of glues on, on the letters. Once there is glue on this, just sprinkle the sand which you have already kept ready like this. Now leave this sand for at least 15 to 20 minutes. And afterwards also, if you can leave it for a longer time, it is better. You can even leave these cards to dry out in the sun. You want the sand to stick on the glued part of the letter in a nice fashion. Once this is done, you just drop the excess sand and your letter is ready. I have even created, new. you can also create numbers like I have created here. You can create these numbers also. These are very functional cards made out of almost no cost involved. Only, I mean, I must have spent only 100 or 200 rupees in creating these cards for the material. That is hardboard, glue and paint. You can use any color you want, any color of your choice. These are quite durable. If you can hear, the texture is very nice. And even if the sand comes off, all you have to do is take some glue and repaste some sand. If you have older children, they will enjoy doing this activity at home. They would love to create these cards on their own. You can use any other material. You can use some glitter. You can use uh, thermocol balls or you can use any other material of your choice. Maybe cotton wool, thread, anything. In fact, you can use cotton wool and thread on these cards also. Once you're, you see that your children are getting bored of the sand texture, to give them a different taste, you can create them. That's about it guys as of now. I would like to thank all of you for watching my first video. And if you want more details, do write in, your, in the comment section or on my blog. Thank you so much guys. Have a nice day. Bye.